This lesson will take you through details on mutual funds, their schemes and make you understand the process of investing in mutual funds. Go through the different objectives we will cover in the lesson. Mutual funds offer various benefits to investors. Investors of mutual funds get access to professional expertise of fund managers who manage these mutual funds and their schemes. It also helps investors to diversify among securities and different asset classes at low entry point. This slide also highlights other benefits offered by mutual funds. Mutual funds have a three-tiered structure of sponsors, trustees and AMC. Sponsors are the main body that establish the mutual fund. Sponsors appoint the trustees. Main role of the trustee is to ensure that the interest of investors and unit holders is protected. AMC or asset management company is the investment manager of the trustees. AMC is responsible for day-to-day -day operations like launch and marketing of schemes, collecting funds and investing according to scheme objectives. In this example, for ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund, the sponsors are ICICI Bank and Prudential PLC. They have appointed trustees which are ICICI Prudential Trust Limited and ICICI Prudential AMC is the AMC or asset management company responsible for day-to-day -day operations of the fund. Other service providers include custodians who have the custody of the share and other securities bought by the AMC. Registrar and transfer agents are responsible to maintain and update all investor records. It is important to note that portfolio scheme is owned by investors in proportion to their contribution. This is an example of a new fund offering by ICICI Prudential Asset Management Company Limited. The name of the scheme is ICICI Prudential Value Fund Series 17. The document is called Key Information Memorandum or KIM. Another information that you can see is this is a close-ended equity fund. As we move further, we can see the offer of units is for rupees 10. The fund opens on August 29, 2017 and closes on September 12, 2017. As this is a close-ended fund, which we will discuss subsequently, it has a fixed tenure of 1300 days from the date of allotment. You can see the constituents of the fund, the sponsors, trustee and investment manager. Other details available in the KIM are the investment objective for the NFO and the asset allocation pattern. Mutual fund basics. NFO is kept open for a period of 15 days. KIM, which we saw in the screencast, is an offer document for a particular scheme and mentions its investment objective. Units define the extent of ownership in a mutual fund. There are three types of MF schemes. Open-ended schemes are schemes which are perpetually available for purchase and redemption. Close-ended schemes can be purchased during the NFO and are redeemable at a specified maturity date. Interval funds are types of close-ended funds that become open for purchase and redemption at specific periods. Both close-ended and interval funds are mandatorily listed on stock exchanges. We need to understand two distinct concepts, net assets and net asset value or NAV. Let's learn with an example. A mutual fund has 1000 units outstanding whose total value is 2 lakh rupees. NAV is market value upon outstanding units which equals 200 rupees. If investor sells 200 units at 200 rupees for a total sum of rupees 40,000, the net asset will be rupees 1 lakh 60,000 and units remaining will be 800. 1 lakh 60,000 
अपॉन एट हंड्रेड द एन ए वी विल रिमेन एट रुपीज टू हंड्रेड नाउ इफ द पोर्टफोलियो फॉल्स बाई टेन परसेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द मार्केट सिचुएशन नेट एसेट्स विल गेट रिड्यूस बाई टेन परसेंट टू वन लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फ्रॉम वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एंड द एन ए वी विल बिकम रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड एटी SEBI is the prime regulator of mutual funds and association of mutual funds or amfi is the industry body mark to market is the process of valuing portfolio on a daily basis for traded securities market prices are taken while for other securities a method prescribed by SEBI to value such securities is used certain funds or schemes levy an exit load when the scheme is redeemed in part or full go through the calculation in this exit load example we will move to a quiz to check your understanding on concepts till now